Hallelujah. 5 through 8. And Colossians 3 and 2. We're going to read Romans 8, chapter 1. From 5 to 8. Then we're going to skip over to Colossians 3 and 2. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. We thank God for all the young folks up in the house. Amen. Uh, yes. You are our future. You don't know what God has for you on this morning or in the future. Hallelujah. Future evangelists, future pastors, future deacon, deaconess. Hallelujah. Future. Hallelujah. Because God did not make you born here and just sit here and not do anything. He has a job and a purpose. You don't know what your purpose is, but seek God first in all his righteousness Hallelujah. And his kingdom shall be yours one day. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. We thank God for all the benefits he's already bestowed upon us this week. Hallelujah. Protect us and kept us. In Jesus' name. 8 and 5 and 8. Chapter 5 and 8. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the blood of Jesus Christ. It reads, For they that are after the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. Right. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Then we're going to go to Hallelujah in eight. Because of the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot, and I repeat, cannot please God. Hallelujah. Colossians 3 and 2. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. I'm going to say that again. Set your affections on things above not on the things of the earth. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. I think enough people say, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. Hallelujah. Just tell somebody. Hallelujah. That's what I'm going to say this morning. Tell somebody, reset your mind. 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 Your mind is very, very important. It's priceless. Right. Your mind uh, preserve a consciousness. Your feelings, your thoughts, your ideas, all the things, hallelujah, that process to make you, you. This is your mind. Right. Your personality, your experiences, all the things, your dreams, your visions, all the things that makes you, you. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. It's sad to say, since we got a lot of young folks up in the house, hallelujah, and hallelujah, also in these last many days, older folks, hallelujah, people, our minds are out of line. People's minds, hallelujah, are confused. People's minds are stressed out. People's minds are disoriented because maybe a trauma that happened in their life. Because, hallelujah, that mind, hallelujah, is precious, hallelujah, in God's sight. Hallelujah, your soul is priceless. Because God, hallelujah, is looking for someone that will love him with all their soul and all their mind. we got to set our mind, hallelujah, on God. Why? Because, first of all, he is our father. Second of all, he is the creator of us all. He made us, he made it, hallelujah. But I thought my mom and dad did. Yes, they was part of the process. But you came from God. Because God had made you a unique you. It's only one you, hallelujah. It's only one me. But yet God made us all. Because God, he expect us, when we come down here, our responsibility as mothers and fathers, hallelujah, to introduce you to who God is. Hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, you got to grow into the fearness of God, not just being scared of God, 
but respect God. Because God, hallelujah, you don't see him. You don't smell him, hallelujah, and he doesn't appear there. But you see the actions of God. God, hallelujah, he moves, and because we live, we move, we have our being because of him. We got to reset our minds because we just came out of a drastic pandemic. We did not know, hallelujah, what this thing was. We didn't see it. We don't smell it. We don't know it with. But it was killing folks. Right. It was yeah. taking folks out. It was taking folks out, hallelujah, by the millions. Yes. Hallelujah. This is why, hallelujah, you've got to appreciate who God is. Yeah. Because God, hallelujah, he protects us all in that season. Because we could have been us. Hallelujah. We could have been us, hallelujah, in that millions of people that died. Yeah. But yet, hallelujah, God had to stop the whole world to reset the whole world. Yeah. He was speaking, and he is still speaking. Yeah. Because we got to reset our minds. Because our minds, hallelujah, are precious in God's sight. Yeah. There are two kind of minds. There's a carnal mind and there's a spiritual mind. Yeah. We have just read, hallelujah, the carnal mind. If you do mind of the flesh, hallelujah, you're being concerned with the flesh and the physical relationships. Having an attitude and do what, what you want to do. Do what you want to do, make you happy. <coughs> hallelujah, that is the carnal mind. Hallelujah, disregarding others. That is the carnal mind. Having a stronger sinful nature. That is a carnal mind. Being hallelujah dominated by the flesh or fallen human nature. That is a carnal mind. Being set on worldly things that opposes God and spiritual reality. Carnal mind. Amen. Being outside of God's life and approval. Carnal mind. Yes, not being able to change oneself and choose not to love God. A carnal mind. Yes, a spiritual mind is a genuine spiritual connection to Christ. A spiritual mind keeping spirit, spiritual guards up. Hallelujah. Keeping God first. Spiritual mind. Submitting oneself to the word of God and the spirit of God. Yes. Functioning in the, in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Not just the earthly realm. Hallelujah. Trusting the unseen or the Holy Spirit. These are two type of minds. There is no middle ground in God. You either be saved or unsaved. A believer or an unbeliever. Hallelujah. The clean or unclean. There is no middle ground. There is no testing place where you choose once after you die. Hallelujah. You've got to choose now while you're living. Because God said, I want a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto him. Yes, which Lord. is our reasonable service. Yes, because the carnal mind is death. And the spiritual mind is life and peace. Yes. So what are you talking about, Mr. Preacher? I'm talking about if you stay in the flesh, you will surely die. I don't believe, hallelujah, they disobey God. And when the snake, hallelujah, Satan said, hallelujah, you will surely die. Just like today. If I do this, I will die. Matter of fact, once I take it, I'm still living. Hallelujah. But you have to. You die spiritually. When you come born in this world, you come in here spiritually dead. But until somebody introduces you who Jesus is, you being baptized in Jesus' name, get filled with the Holy Ghost, yes, your spirit sir. comes alive. Because you're made up, hallelujah, of God's hallelujah figure. You are made up in his own image. You belong to God. 